What's going on guys? So uh, today's video is about a trade I did. Um, <laughs> and I want to make a video on it just because it was a really kind of interesting concept. So what happened was someone had uh, contacted me looking to see if I had anything for sale or trade and uh, eventually found something that they liked. And while we we're talking, they knew that I, I really liked the, uh, the Spider-Co uh, Dodo. Um, some people think it's ugly. I love it. It is one of the most comfortable designs ever, which we'll talk about in a second here. But long story short, of course, Blade HQ, they announced they're bringing out this one. This is the CPM M4 version, okay? Beautiful uh, Jade G10. Makes it, uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. They do a lot of uh, limited runs with those uh, scales on, you know, different knives. And uh, I fell in love with it. In fact, I got a ton of messages because a lot of you guys know I happen to be a fan of the Dodo. And, um... He offered to just buy this as part of the trade. So essentially, instead of saying, hey, you know, how about this? He said, well, what if you, I buy this for you? You obviously want the knife. Here's how much it costs. I'll consider that the trade value. And then, you know, we'll, we'll work out a trade. So I'll just order it and have it shipped to you. Instead of me giving you my knives, I'll just buy you one. And then you give me your knife. I thought that was pretty interesting. It, it kind of took me by surprise. I'm like, well, damn, I'll do that. Because I really wanted one of these, but generally, like, a, a, let's say a new knife drops on Blade HQ or some other site or something, and I'm interested in it, I have to wait usually. Nine out of ten times, I don't just go out and buy it because it's cool. Once in a blue moon, I will. If I really, really, really want it. I mean, this is one I figured a bunch of people would buy, maybe get tired of it, and then they offer up and trade later on, use, and I'd be fine with that. But when he offered it, I said, yeah, I'll take it. That's awesome. So it goes into my Dodo collection. No, it's not a very large collection. These are very expensive knives, especially the old ones. Um, right now I have three, including this. All right, which maybe I'll show in the future which two I have, because there's a, a couple different versions of them. But yeah, it is just a phenomenal knife. If you've never had a Dodo, okay, highly recommend it, all right? First of all, even though it's kind of funky and it's got a little blade and a big old handle and weird shapes, and it ha this happens to be a fully serrated S, you know, it's like a double recurve. It works. It is a beast, absolute beast, okay? This thing just bites incredibly, especially in M4 fully serrated, this thing would tear you a new one. Uh, of course, if you're using it for defense, um, but for utility, it would just cut through so much stuff. It, it, it's so wonderful. I can't even begin to express how much I love my Dodos. Now, I've never had a serrated one, so this is kind of a cool little combo. I like the M4, I like the scales, I like that it's serrated because it's different. Now, one thing I did want to point out is the Dodo has always fit my hand like it was made for me. All right, we have a nice deep finger trail, pointer finger. We have this uh, large curve, middle finger, ring finger. Look how perfect they go in there. And then a nice shelf for my pinky. All right, even as I push down, you see the fat finger just mush into that. Look, look at that. And then the little thumb rest right here. Oh my God, oh my God. All right, I'm acting a little goofy there. Got to gotta cut it back a little. Um, but yeah, it, it's just perfect for me. Uh, but I do want to throw this out there. And I was kind of surprised. I handed it to Christina to try out. And she's like, eh. I'm like, what do you mean, eh? It's the most wonderful feeling knife ever. And she's like, eh, not really. And because her hands are much smaller than mine, her pinky lands literally right on this point. So I have to throw that out there, even though I think it's, it's so incredibly ergonomic. If you have very small hands, it might not be. Your, your fingers just land in different places, you know? But, uh, and it's unfortunate, because I really wanted her to love it, but she said, eh. Plus, she's not a fan of the ball lock. I like the ball lock. I totally understand what she means, though. It's a ball. It's round, so sometimes it's a little hard to pull down on it. It's on, you know, there's a little rod in the spring there. All right, so like I was showing her, because she closes a lot of knives one or uh, two-handed rather than one-handed. But I was saying if you want to close this two-handed, you just pinch the ball, pull down. Okay, it's very easy to grip that. You're not going to slip, and then, of course, you know, close the blade. Uh, but doing one hand could be a little tricky. I, I tend to hold the pocket clip with my ring finger and um, middle finger. So I have these, these two available. Grab both sides and pull it down. You can swing it shut. Uh, it's not that easy to do one-sided. In fact, it, it's very hard to do it one-sided. You have to kind of grab both sides on that ball. But I mean, it's just, it's fascinating. It's a really cool lock. They have that on like the polywog and stuff. Um, you know, some of you guys probably don't even remember the polywog or the dodo. So you might be seeing this design for the first time going, what the heck's that thing? Uh, and this is definitely <laughs> that weird looking kid. 
Sometimes it's a face only a mother can love. Either you love this or you hate this thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. But like I said, this blade shape, it is just ridiculous what this thing is capable of. This is probably the most underrated self-defense knives out there. When you say what's a good self-defense folder, now I would definitely say fixed blades are better than folders 99% of the time. But if you're talking just folders, if I whip this out in a, a knife fight, which I those don't happen. Usually it's just a knife attack. And if someone has a knife out, I'm definitely taking my gun out. But anyway, um, you'd be surprised what this is capable of. It is massively devastating, this little blade. But anyway, now I know you're staring at this thing too. This is a, a CRKT uh, bit driver, which I thought was really cool. The uh, person I was doing the trade with popped this in just as like an extra to see if I was interested in it. And uh, I thought it was really neat. When I first opened it, I mean, I, I didn't know what to expect by it. This actually uh, works really, really well. It's solid brass. The bit holder works fantastic. It's got knurling on it. But what's kind of cool is there's a berry on the back here, all right, which is very smooth. So when this is in your hand, it's on your palm. And this allows you to very easily, freely spin this, okay? So if you want to, you know, get a um, screw hand started or whatever, then you can change your grip if you want to really crank down on it, you know, with the knurling. It's just really nice design. And uh, although this is just a tool, CRKT makes a kit where it's like a leather case and it holds all the bits on the outsides and kind of folds together, which looks really nice. It's way more expensive. It's like 50 bucks for the full kit. But just the driver is fantastic because I have a bunch of bits. And I actually just went through tools like two or three weeks ago or so, and I have a bunch of bits in my, my drawer when I'm tinkering with knives, a bunch of Torx bits, security Torx, uh, little micro screwdrivers like uh, Phillips and, and Flathead. Um, and this is going to be perfect. I'm going to put that with those loose bits so I can, uh, you know, tinker with knives. But super, super cool. So thank you so much for the trade. I really appreciate it. Um, just a heads up, this is a Blade HQ drop. So if you're into the Dodo, always wanted one but didn't want to pay the four to $500 plus for one of the originals, definitely a cool version. I know it's not going to be as popular because it's fully serrated. So many people sent messages too. Well, I say so many people, but there's probably like six or seven that specifically said, I always want a Dodo. I, I'm so disappointed that it's going to be fully serrated. Now, I have to assume that they'll do another drop that's plain edge because most people would probably pick plain edge over serrated. I think it's awesome because it's different and I don't mind serrated blades as long as they're fully serrated. But yeah, I would definitely see some people being uh, disappointed in the fact that it is not plain edge. So who knows, maybe they'll come out with another one in the future. But anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share my little story. It's a, a unique situation. I think this has happened before. I just, it's been a while, so I don't remember it. Uh, but someone, instead of offering something to trade, just offered to buy me something and then just traded for something of value, you know, that, that's close to it. So I do appreciate it. I think that was really neat. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Before I go, let me show you this real quick, the box, in case you want to see this exact model. All right, Dodo CPM M4S for serrated. All right, made in the USA. C80 GM4S. All right. Again, I believe this is a Blade HQ exclusive. Sometimes you'll see an exclusive, but eventually it pops up other places too. Uh, but it's Blade HQ if you're interested in that one. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.